got a way of keeping me up most nights. It's always worth the sleep I sacrifice. And love is too precious to trade for rested eyes. And you look beautiful in the morning light. I don't know how you feel the air in your lungs Cause you could talk your way around the big old sun But I keep hoping that the end won't come, honey I could listen to you all day long hey! When the words roll out along we thought I don't know if I ever really was the person who believed in fate or meant to be, but how else can you explain the undeniable pull I felt at 25 that I just needed to be in Denver? Somehow I knew this is where I was meant to be and I was always meant to find you. There are truly an infinite number of reasons why I love you. Not only are you the person who brightens my day, but you are also the one who illuminates my darkness. You truly are my moon. And even though I'm unsure about most things in life, I'm certain that I love you and I promise I will continue to love you forever. Dearest Alyssa, when we first met, spending time with each other felt so natural. Your smile and eyes burst with kindness. Learning and growing with you has been one of the most rewarding parts of my life and I'm so grateful for that. Your generosity and love has opened my eyes and heart so much more. Each morning I wake up with you with a sense of comfort that falls over me. When I think about our future, I'm overwhelmed with joy. The very first date was at the Irish Rover and it obviously went excellent. Keith sprung for PBR tall boys and mac and cheese bites which really wooed Alyssa off of her feet. It must have been enough because of what happened on that first day, and every day since caused these two to fall in love, and here we find ourselves today. I promise to never turn down a nighttime walk or early morning hike with you and me. I promise to say yes to every concert, even if it's one week before one of the biggest <laughs> I promise not to scoff when there is just the fine assortment of numerous cheeses in the fridge <laughs> and nothing else. I promise to show appreciation for even the small things, like even if it's another decorative pillow. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I feel like the luckiest girl to have a brother and sister who are my best friends and now the best brother-in-law to add to our wolf pack. I'd like everyone to raise their glasses and make a toast to the new ferals. And for a memory that's resilient enough to always bring them back to the spark. I love you guys. I'm so happy that the feral house and the Diani house are now joined together. Um, you know, Game of Thrones, love it. Uh, and, and I just love you guys so much. Now I could stand up here for hours telling you life experiences and stories of the Doughboy and the Moon. Written by the Doughboy and the Moon. 
and, and played by the Doughboy and the Moon. My brother, it's cute. My little brother, Keith. The most dedicated, loyal, family above everything person I've ever met. Uh, from our weekly catch-up sessions on the phone, to our road trips up and down the East Coast from Florida. And what Keith likes to classify as just downright road time. I cherish each and every one of those moments and find myself never wanting them to end. I am so happy and unbelievably proud of the person you have become and of the person whom you are with. Alyssa, I promise to always keep you laughing and loving even harder. To the moon and back. I promise to love you fiercely without hesitation for the rest of our lives together. Oh, my God. <laughs>